What's up everybody? Good morning. It's not that late, but it's still pretty early. It's 9.30 in the morning. I've been up for about an hour. It's Sunday. It's my day off and I'm up this early. Um, I had to take my girlfriend to the airport. So I figured, well, got nothing else to do. Might as well take you through uh, maybe like a full day eating, day in the life, what the hell I do on Sundays type of day. So, uh, <clears throat> I woke up, slammed a monster energy drink, took my girlfriend to the airport, and then already taking my joint stuff. I take it every day, and then, uh, let's see, animal pack, I'll be taking that, and then, let's see, the, the last thing I do, uh, I'll take a scoop of Prime Nutrition Fido form. It's nice, it has, you know, fruits and vegetable mix, basically. That way, if I don't get all my fruits and veggies during the day, I'm covered. Um, so, yeah, that's what I take in the morning. Haven't eaten yet. I probably am going to go kick right now. It's not too windy. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, I guess we'll see what I'm, I'm going to do today. All right, on to the next part of the day. All right, so Manny's going to come over at like 12, and it's 9.30. So... I'm gonna go get breakfast. I'm just gonna go to McDonald's and uh, get some egg white delights. I'll show you guys kind of what they look like when I get them. Look at this line. This is the line from McDonald's for breakfast, probably, I'm assuming. It's crazy because I know I'm the only person in line who's tracking their calories. And people who say they can't um, eat healthy at McDonald's. They're full of shit. So you can eat healthy anywhere you go. It's just all about tracking your food. So don't let anybody tell you that something's unhealthy or blah, blah, blah. It's very easy to uh, eat uh, not so horrible foods even at McDonald's. So the Egg White Delights have a slice of cheese, Egg White, and it's like 99% lean ham on an egg on a uh, on a muffin, which muffins have one gram of fat. I think like 20 carbs. So I'll show you guys once I get them. But I just wanted to sh I just wanted to share some with you. So look at all these people, and I'm probably the only one in this line who is tracking his food. So yeah. Uh, yeah, let me get four egg white delights. Anything else? No, that's it. 16, 41, thank you, have a good day. Thanks, you too. Alright, so the crappy thing about ordering healthy food or food that really is easily fittable, like their egg white delights, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, it's expensive. So four little breakfast sandwiches, 16 bucks. Now you could have, I could have bought eggs, cheese, McMuff or McMuffin, muffins and ham. I could have spent 16 bucks and probably had like four or five days worth. So, but this is about convenience for me. So if you can afford it, cool. I'm not saying I'm the richest person in the world, but um, I don't feel like cooking this morning. So, and I think I hate cooking for myself. It is so boring, but whatever. This will probably be the only time I eat out this week. Um, Cause I'll probably just cook all my stuff home. But yeah, 16 bucks, four sandwiches. I mean, it sucks. I wish the fast food industry would fix that, but what are you gonna do, you know? can't do anything about it so either pay or get the fuck out the way all right so I'm back at my house so let's see I'm just gonna show you in case maybe somebody out there has never seen an egg white delight I don't know they're amazing though they taste really good so look it's all this egg white ham biscuit cheese amazing so Meal one, I got four of them. 
Um, I'll let you guys know the macros in a minute, but I think it's 28 fat, um, 107 carbs, and I think it'll be around around 60 protein. So pretty good, pretty good first meal of the day. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll check in with you guys probably about noon when we go kick. Hi, right, just got done kicking with Manny. There he is, he's alive. So, it's windy. Got about 40 kicks in. Now it's probably like 20 to 25 miles an hour winds. So, I'm gonna go grab some to eat. You're not recording. Yes, I am recording. <laughs> yep. Manny's enjoying his pickle. That's all I'm having. Or Schlotsky's. Got a salad, brown chicken. Two sandwiches. Large soda. Alright, so we're about to head to the gym, 445, waiting on Manny to take his pre-workout. So Takima Ball and Core Fury. My shaker just broke, so I gotta throw that away. Awesome. And then he ain't big. Look at he ain't even big. Anyways, uh, today we're doing back. Buys, shoulders. Um, I'm trying to think what else. We had Schlotzky's earlier. I uh, had a salad, four ounces chicken. Put some salt on it. And then I had two turkey sandwiches. The bigger one was 75 carbs, the little one was 50 carbs, four fat and seven fat, so it was really low fat. Got a bunch of micronutrient dense foods in, because that's what's important. And, uh, that was about two hours ago, so now we're gonna go lift. And I got cardio after, and then got last meal of the day. And then I gotta work on some workout plans and client stuff. Manny hit a new low today, so that's good. And uh, yeah, we'll see what goes. Oh, and I lost a pound and a half this week, so that's good. So I'm just gonna keep doing 25 minutes cardio. Oh, and those of you uh, who might need, maybe need new gym music, uh, Yellow Wolf's new CD just came out. Is pretty damn good. It's like his old stuff. I don't know how many of you out there listen to Yellow Wolf. Uh, also, Tech Nine's new CD comes out next week. I'm a big Tech Nine fan. Uh, so I have a couple of his new songs, but Yellow Wolf's new CD, it's good. Um, it's got some slower paced stuff and it's got some um, faster paced kind of rap stuff. So if you guys need new music, that's what I'm listening to uh, at least these next couple weeks. And uh, what else did I just, I just downloaded Big Sean's album, I'm gonna see how that is. I don't really listen to the, a lot of mainstream stuff, just cause most of it's garbage. Um, but I like I like big, a couple Big Sean's um, albums. Oh, and then Kendrick Lamar's Had a Pimp Butterfly, that's a good one too. So that's kind of what I've been listening to the past couple weeks, and probably the weeks to come. So, what do you guys listen to? Let me know in the comments. Alright, so we just got doing, doing back, it's almost 7.30. Um, it was nice. Start off with the heavy, heavy dumbbell row. Rode the 150s. Uh, then went to uh, lat pull down, but close grip. Then we went to seated row, close grip. Um, and then we did pullovers, kind of just to finish it off. Then we did two bicep exercises. Uh, and also a little bit of rear delt work where you take the rope and you just keep your arms straight. I like that one, puts a lot of tension on your rear delt. Um, you can feel, really feel the contraction. So right now, I'm um, about to do 25 minutes of cardio on my treadmill. I'm gonna take a scoop of core burn before. Um, basically, it's it's just uh, ca you know I just take it really for the caffeine. I mean I'm, I'm just not I'm not really into huge into fat burners. Obviously, calorie deficit is gonna be the biggest thing, but I take it um, mostly just gets my core temperature up a little bit and it kind of wakes me up a little bit even after doing um, like a heavy workout so I don't take it necessarily because it's gonna get me shredded um, but I take it just because uh, it's just a little more extra caffeine and uh, yeah so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna have three servings of stacked pancakes this is buttermilk I haven't tried these yet um, I'm gonna have that as my last meal of the day so I'll probably be done eating about 8.30 at night. And then I got some work to do tonight, make some new workout routines for my clients, and 
What else? Go to bed, get up at 4.30 in the morning, start Monday. So I'll see you guys after cardio. All right, so in case you guys were wondering before I start my cardio, uh, I just watch TV, but since I'm tired of TV and there's usually nothing on, I'm watching movies, and I'm bringing it old school. Fast and the Furious, this is number four. I already watched number one. So, and Fast and Furious number two sucks. Number three, no one good is in it. It's still a good movie, I think, but so I'm watching four, five, and six. And then hopefully by seven when it comes out. So that's what I'm watching in case you guys care. I'm going to get on this. All right, so I just got done doing cardio. Okay, one thing I want to share with you, even though my hair's all screwed up, but see how I'm sweating? That's how you got to be doing your cardio. Okay, so... Alright, you want to make sure you're pushing it on your cardio. You don't want to be slacking because that's what's going to help you kind of put you in a calorie deficit. Alright, this hair is too much. That's going to be what's helping, going to help you put you in a more of a calorie deficit. So don't just be on the treadmill or the stair stepper and just kind of half ass it. Or if you're doing hit, don't just like, oh, well, I'm just going to go through the motions. You got to go 100%. So otherwise, you're not going to be putting yourself in as much of a calorie deficit as maybe your coach or as you thought and then <clears throat> you wonder why you're not losing weight um, or losing weight as fast so that's what it is so I'm cooking up some stacked pan pancakes buttermilk gonna have three servings which is gonna be uh, nine fat 77 car or excuse me 78 carbs 75 protein and that puts my macros perfect. So in case you guys are wondering what my macros were for this past week, 50 fat, 320 carb, 250 protein. Uh, I lost a pound and a half this past week, so that's pretty good. And just adding in 25 minutes of cardio. So I'm just going to stay with that and wait till I kind of hit a, a stall in my weight loss, and then we'll make some changes. So hope you guys enjoyed this day of eating, day of whatevering, day of kevining, if you want to call it that. So, I'm going to get to making these pancakes. So you guys enjoy the rest of your night. And hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe, share. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Kevin Van Voorhis, signing out.